Speaking of pressure, and what a transition for this one, Scott Frost uh, is now under a lot of pressure because this man has got, uh, he's suspended for five days during the season. He has a one-year show cause, uh, all kinds of different things. Let me switch it over so uh, so I can put the website on the video. Um, lots of different things here. Basically, the story here is that they broke the rules for countable coaches. And this was during the 2020 season. So all these different podcasts and whatnot that came out and had this quick reaction uh, talking about, oh, the special teams were awful last year. And that, this was during the COVID season, the 2020 year. And the guy that was the analyst that apparently was an on-field coach was basically an 11th guy as opposed to the 10th guy. Uh, that was John Rutledge, who is a former uh, special teams guy, uh, assistant guy. He's, he's covered all kinds of different things at Auburn. He was at Ole Miss in like 2007 through 2010, I believe. That was under Houston Nutt, et cetera. But, uh, but the situation here is um, basically he had the guy. Uh, the coach has been fired, by the way. He was fired in January uh, 2021. So before this season ever got going, any kind of practice, whatever. It's a level two punishment for being aware of the violation and not acting. Uh, his suspension will take place at some point during the fall football season. Uh, so the situation here, basically, you can't have uh, more than 10 on-field assistants. Only 10 guys are allowed to work with the players. Now, I believe that if you... Uh, I believe that this is going on everywhere, right? Like, it, it's one well, of the I'm, things... I'm 100% positive it's going on everywhere. Well, look at Tennessee. One of the One of the violations that Jeremy Pruitt had at Tennessee was the fact that Phil Fulmer came down as an AD and was watching practice and actually got out on the field, and they got like a small reprimand from the NCAA for it. It wasn't anything that was a huge deal uh, because it was a, a one- or two-time thing. This apparently happened for the entire season. I am certain, like you said, that it is happening everywhere, but if you are a coach that is, uh, one, we know that Frost ruffled some feathers when it came to, you know, uh, all of the we want to play, all that kind of stuff, because Nebraska was ready to just break from the Big Ten for the 2020 season if the Big Ten was not going to play football. All that stuff during the COVID year, they were ready to just do whatever. And he might have ruffled some feathers for some other programs, et cetera. So when people found out about this, it became even more of an issue. I, I don't know that a lot of people are going to get bump for this, and this isn't like a huge thing. The one-year show calls, which most people associate with that, with uh, with being suspended, etc. Uh, basically, all that happens in this situation is the school has to show the NCAA why they want to keep him as their coach, which becomes an even more difficult prospect when you are 15 and 29 in your career at that school, like Scott Frost is. But I'm curious your thoughts here on, you know, was it harsh enough? Was it, you know, too harsh? Was it uh, just, I'm curious what you thought about it. Well, I, I hate these rules, and I hate that I hate that we have rules that they don't enforce consistently because we know every other team does. We yes. just know they do, right? I mean, the perfect example um, of the Alabama National Championship uh, game the where Alabama they fired Lane Kiffin. So yep. after the after the first game, the playoff game, they fired Lane Kiffin, and a week later, supposedly an analyst who's never had any contact with the students before is now the OC. No relationship with these guys, but he's going to call plays for them because he knows everything about them and they know everything about them. Yeah. Yep. Um, he yeah, happens it, to be the head just, coach at, uh, at Texas now, for those that don't know the story. Yeah. There. <laughs> so, but, like, it, it's just it's just garbage that they – this is why this is why people hate the NCAA, is because their lack of consistency with anything. They seem to pick and choose uh, teams that they go after and you could kind of see, like, the writing on the wall with Nebraska is very clear. Nebraska pissed off in 2020, the Big Ten. And so the Big Ten is now saying, hey, NCAA, we don't give a shit if you go after them. We don't, we don't care what you do. All right? You know, hit them, hit them with the postseason ban, which which doesn't really hurt them because they're not making the postseason. But what it, what it does do, is it keeps them from getting their share of the money for that year. So now we get to split whatever the postseason money is between 
uh, one less team. Yeah. Um, you know, those those types of things. The Big Ten just isn't there to protect them. And so the NCAA is like, great, we'll go after somebody and make it look like we're actually doing something. That's that's my problem there. The, the thing that the cracks system. me up, the other part of this is the fact that everybody assumed it was for the 2021 season – and and no, well, this was because of how long it takes the NCAA exactly. to do shit. That's why I mean, everybody gets pissed. The, the, the reason the reason we get it wrong is because the NCAA, we can't imagine that it would take that long for the NCAA to come up with this, right? Yeah, this guy like, has this been isn't fired. To chase down a bag man. <laughs> this isn't like you're not trying to get like some, give give some student uh, uh, immunity to, to like get testimony. Like we know what happened here. This is not hard. It still took them two years to do it. That's a, the guy, Jonathan Rutledge. Uh, let's see, where is he now? He is uh, <laughs> he's a special teams coordinator, wide receivers coach at the Catholic University of America. I mean, that's a, he. He got fired in January of twenty twenty one. Like, what are we even? Why are we still talking about this? Like, it's so I, crazy. I don't, I don't. I don't. Like I said, this is this is somebody. And, and it could be somebody at Nebraska saying, "Hey, NCAA, you want to help us out here? We, we, we wouldn't hate getting out. We wouldn't hate getting out of this contract for calls." Oh yeah, oh yeah. They they've got you plenty know? of different reasons to do it. And now, of course, they got the buyout lessened uh, because well, Scott, the buyout, that was yeah. the buyout lesson. They they don't need necessarily need the calls, but anyway, neither here nor there. That these rules are dumb. They don't enforce them consistently, so it makes it to where I don't give a shit when they do enforce it, or I really care. When they enforce yeah. it, because it's not consistent. Um, I, I, you know, whatever. Nebraska's not very good. All right, let, let, let them use all the fucking coaches they want. They're, they're not winning football. Games. <laughs> they're not winning meaningful football games. Yeah, we'll we'll see what Casey Thompson does with them this year. But I, I would not imagine a Big Ten West uh, championship is in their future. So we'll we'll see. They might could make a bowl this year. Uh, I would imagine. Hey, you the see, uh, you see the total? Oh, I, I sent it to you. The the over under is and, seven and, and a half. And the juice. Yeah, to go and under to go under seven and a half is plus one twenty over at FanDuel right now. <laughs> that's, just, that's just not. That's just stealing money. Oh, I mean, it is. Just, it listen, is. They might win eight games, and you might lose that bet, but that's the greatest bet of all time. Like that. Yeah. That's just free money right there. I agree. I agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.